so there was this meme circulating on social media right. uh, on, on various channels various social media big social media profiles blah 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 and it was this one i thought i thought it was quite amusing so a lot of people obviously who posted it they were anti this crowd and they were pro this crowd uh, so basically what it says a pakistani youth or boys and girls at the age of 18 they ha- they are at a crossroads they need to make a choice either to go left or to go right and on the right you can see yours truly as well yeah um, so, so by the way i i just wanted to talk about um who i i was first of all i was honored that i was i i am or i could be seen in the same light as the other three people um this guy, Pervez Hoodboy, he's a nuclear physicist, he's a scientist. I think he uh, did his PhD from MIT. He's been a very known intellectual. I think he's 70 plus now. Uh, he teaches, uh, he used to teach in some American university, I forgot. Oh, Princeton, University of Princeton, I think. He used to teach nuclear physics over there as well. So he's a genuine, true scientist, not an Islamist or nothing. And... Um, he never speaks about Islam, though. So a lot of people think that he's an atheist, but again, we, he's never said it, so we're not going to go by that. Uh, but he is a very enlightened person, and he and he has the spine to stand up to these uh, these religious zealots. Let's just uh, say sec- religion didn't get him that far, or Islam didn't get him that far. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but unfortunately, despite being one of the only true internationally acclaimed, respected scientists of Pakistan, he has no following. Uh, even though he's been, he's appeared in on fact, TV. They ostracize him. They ostracize him, yeah. And, and again, they, they, sometimes they call him Ahmadi as well, which is like whatever. But I think the the, the second person, this uh, lady is Mahruz. Uh, I forgot her name because uh, I didn't know about her before. She's a transgender woman. Uh, she's a she's a trans woman. Um, so she obviously is speaking about those issues as well. And uh, her, sorry, her name is Mahrub Moiz. Is her name? And um, she, she's obviously trying to end transphobia. And there was actually a, um, uh, there was actually a, tre- a, a hashtag trending on Pakistani Twitter because they were trying to bring in new legislation, pro-trans legislation in Pakistan. Mm-hmm, um, but obviously, typical transphobic, homophobic, atheistophobic Pakistani public are um, not happy with that and they were trending against it. So, so she's obviously, um, you know, quite big in her own right as well. And I'm sorry, I didn't know about her before, but now I do follow her. This guy, he's um, he is a genius that's just come out of uh, in Pakistani um, social media. He's actually a news anchor as well now. He, he, I think he's done his MPhil in political science and probably going to do his PhD very soon in philosophy as well. He quotes ancient philosophers i think he's done he's he's read every word that was ever written by nietzsche so he he can quote these philosophers so when 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 you're talking to him when you're listening to him you feel intimidated in a way that oh i don't know anything (laughs) so you know sometimes you get these vibes from people that when when a smart person is talking you're like i'm just gonna shut up and i'm gonna listen so so he's he's a genius if you're the smartest person in the room you're in the wrong room so yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's brilliant, brilliant, and probably an atheist too. But again, he's never said it, so I'm not going to go by that. Okay, but he speaks about liberalism. He speaks about liberal ideas, and he stands up to these religious zealots, and he destroys them uh, quite brazenly. So I'm uh, worried about him as well. Uh, but you know, but he he he's some people want to stay in the system and change it. I mean, I would have said, screw this, I'm leaving this country. Even though I left Pakistan way before I became an atheist, I just came here to study and then I just stayed here because life's better here. <laughs> so, um, and, and much later I became an atheist. So that's great. that had nothing to do with it. But but if I had stayed in Pakistan, I think I would have left anyway just because the quality of life is crap. And if I wanted to talk about these things, then I would have done it. So that's the color. And, and the fourth one, you obviously know him. That, that's some, that's that? some dude as well. Yeah, oh, that, that's some dude as well. He, he's all right. He, but, but, but the only difference between these three and him is he's an outspoken, openly atheist person. I think that maybe that that is probably the only... I'm definitely not the smartest in that category, but I think the only edge that goes to me is I am an openly atheist that has come out of Pakistan and he makes videos in Urdu. And a lot of people have 
uh, you know, come out and literally thousands of good love letters as well. I've actually got one as well. Um, that people say, oh, thanks to you or listening to you, I became an atheist or enlightened person. So so that's uh, that. That's on one side, yeah? Such a difficult choice. The nuclear physicist, a new age trans woman, a philosopher, and uh, and some other dude as well. A guy who loves the sound of his own voice. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so that's him, I'm yeah? joking, I'm joking. And then on the other side, let me introduce some of these people. Too. Oh, that side looks very appealing, Horace. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaning that way, my friend. I'm yeah? leaning. Okay, I'm so this guy. I'm leaning left at the minute. This yes. guy is the son of some brigadier in Pakistan. He openly says, uh, makes issues, uh, says people should be, so and so people should be killed, he should be killed, blah, blah, blah. Openly says that. Nothing happens happens because he's very well connected and he infamously once made a video about me and he said that why don't you arrest this guy's parents torture them so harris will uh, then then see how harris comes running back to pakistan and then are you serious can... yeah yeah he made this video about me I, I tweeted that a while ago yeah yeah so yeah that that the audacity guy. he also said that Oh, when you find when you hear about these atheists, why don't you just extrajudicially kill them? Just and then in the police report or medical report, just say that oh, he was walking by, he, he was having his um, uh, walk by the sea at a beach, and then he just had a heart attack and and then he died. Oh, he slipped down the stairs, he died. So he, he sounds said like a, he's a prime contender to join the Iranian morality police. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 absolutely. He's Flipping that kind heck. of person. And, and just recently, with Nupur Sharma's case, he openly made a video and he said that, "Oh, uh, some Muslim is going to kill you, or otherwise we, we're going to get some Sikh to kill you." That's that's the kind of that well, guy. Okay. And now they employ Sikh gangsters. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so that's number one prime contender Jeez. on the left side. How right, is can, very I, can I take ten steps back, please? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay. I'm running towards the other side. <laughs> okay. Wait till you see the next one. So this guy, Dr. Israr Ahmed, um, a very respected Islamic scholar, but um, you know, the more honest you are about Islam, the worse you look for the rest of the world. So he's endorsed sexual slavery. Slavery used to happen. He was a big believer of, yeah, so while Aisha was nine years old or whatever. So but, good Muslim. Yeah, but he died in 2004 or five. But his okay. channel recently, his YouTube channel recently got deleted because which was being run by his son, and he has old videos on VHS on those cassettes. So they they were constantly uploading them. So he uh, his channel recently got deleted last year. And do you want to know why that was? Do you remember the story of this British guy, British Muslim who went who flew to America and he attacked at the synagogue? Yeah. Remember? Yeah. yeah. So, and, and we played his audio as well, where his brother was saying whatever. So that guy was inspired by him. <laughs> oh, snap. List is great, huh? This is amazing list, right? Eh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. 20 what? steps back. I am retreating. <laughs> Rich, get me out of here. <laughs> so that, that's the other guy. So, again, and we report these channels to these guys, but uh, you, YouTube doesn't take any action, only when someone has to get murdered or something and they they, they join the dots and the, uh, the breadcrumbs lead to these kind of people, then they say, okay, it's time uh, to delete them. Yeah, and it's usually reactive. It's never proactive. Yeah, it never is. Exactly. It, it, and, and, Which is and, the most dangerous by... thing. They don't act until you're, or something's already happened. Yeah, by the same logic. People like Hijab and Ali Dawa should be cancelled. YouTube should delete them. Ali Dawa on... Uh, has said it on, uh, on 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 record that people like us should be killed. He's proud of that. Uh, Incitement of violence, clear. He said, hate speech and he's also said uh, even if his daughter was nine years old, uh, he would marry her off. You know, like he said, the, he's made these kind of statements. So when somebody, and these guys are literally inspiring thousands and thousands of people. And uh, so when someone is actually, this is YouTube's logic. If someone does marry his marry off his nine year old daughter to some other fifty year old dude, and then he and when he's investigated and then he says, "Oh, I, I listened to Ali Dawa," that's the criteria. Is that the time when YouTube would take him off? By the looks of it, that's what it looks. Yeah, like. I don't understand because if, for example, that was to be heard on a phone call to social services, that this father is saying that he would marry his nine year old daughter off to a, an old man in his 50s, social services would be straight onto that. Which and the police be. would be straight onto that. And there would be a forced marriage protection order put on the girl. And she would be taken away from the dad's custody. Like, 
<laughs> I don't understand how YouTube are just casually allowing this to happen, especially yeah, when incitements to violence. Like, it's not hard to see when Mohammed Hijab is um, dog like whistling. dog whistling. Like, you, you've got to stop. You've got to be able to read between the lines and stop saying, unless we see this verbatim, we're not going to take any action because that's not how these things happen. Yeah. People are inspired by somebody's word or their their tone or their, their their way of saying it or their interpretation of it or they've had a bad day and they remember something that they that man said because they were his massive follower and boom they go and do something. Mm. I don't know much about this third guy. Apparently he's an Islamist as well and he's under custody or something. I don't know about much about him, but anyway, this fourth guy. <laughs> he's a comedian. <laughs> okay, so he basically watches. Marvel movies and he uh, what, a Avengers, Age of Ultron, etc. And then uh, he comes out with radical theories, amazing theories. And he says, Quran is talking about wormholes. Quran is oh talking about word. teleportation. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Are you trolling or is this for real? I swear I'm not trolling. And he has millions of followers. There are literally millions of followers and he talks, even, even radical Muslims are like, what the heck are you talking about? But the youth, they love him. He's like Iron Man. He, he's like Suleiman. You know, Suleiman used to talk to ants. He's like, yeah, yeah. Ant Man. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Doolittle. <laughs> Doctor Doolittle, Tarzan, and Ant Man all in one. Yeah. Oh he my talks God. About yeah. So uh, Captain America, I think Prophet Muhammad is Captain America or something. Teleportation, wormholes. Uh, all of these things, the Star Trek, he mixes that with Islam. I'm not trolling. I keep and you know, this sells. Oh and it God. sells. And it sells. Yeah. yeah that, it, Whoa. It sells. So, so that's, a, that, that's a hard choice that, that people of Pakistan or the youth of Pakistan have to make. You know, um, and A serious philosopher and a serious nuclear scientist and um, a serious trans activist and, uh, and this guy. Um, but yeah, Harris, can I just I, say one thing on the last on the last guy? Just I just want to put this out there, okay? Um, if it, just just a point of conjecture, anyway. If, for example, the, the youth of Pakistan are somehow thinking that the Quran is like talking about like all these like superheroes and there's like you know cosmic <laughs> like worlds and warm hot wormholes and portals and maybe dark matter and at least, do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you not think that at least? They are hearing of concepts now that they at least would otherwise not have heard of. Like if you just read the Quran back and forth, like wrote, like you know, in a madrasa style setting in Arabic, that's just pump pumping nonsense into your head, right? It's just pumping gibberish. But at least now you're like a kid is gonna be like, oh, wormholes. Like I know what a wormhole <laughs> is because it's in our book, but it's basically now you're gonna have now, it's now when, it's when to... like the jinns teleported like Queen Sheba's throne to um, King Solomon's temple in like the blink of an eye because he yeah. could command them. He was actually like like time and space where the continuum was combusting and he had summoned them to go through the portal and like what? <laughs> but at least yeah. they're thinking along those lines. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I, 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 to be honest, I, I couldn't watch it. Like I only watched one video a while ago and... and... Uh, I was like, wow, kudos for... Is it, no, you can't even give them credit for creativity because he's stealing these ideas. He's yeah, yeah, true. And, and he's ideas. just superimposing them actually yeah. onto the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like, a, <laughs> he'd be like so, yeah. the Alex Jones of the Muslim world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.